All right, so if you have to find the gradient of this line, you will say plus 4. Okay. You will say 2x plus 4. Your equation must be in this standard form, where m is your gradient. Okay. So in this case, we just pick the number here, which is closer to 8, which is part of x, as your gradient. So in this case, gradient is 2. What if you have y equal to 2x minus 8? How can you find the gradient? So remember, it has to be in this standard form. You need to have y alone on the left side. So divide both sides by 3. Both sides by 3. So we're going to have y is equal to 2x by 3 minus 8 by, by what? 3. So all what we need is this part. So gradient is equal to 2 over what? 3. Now, I was talking of when two lines are parallel. Right? When two lines are parallel, let's say we have this line. Let me call this one line one. And this line, line two. Now, this line has gradient one. And this line has gradient one, two. As long as these two lines are parallel, gradient one is equal to gradient one, two. Let's say that this line has gradient of three. That means even this line has gradient of what? 3 since they are parallel. Like you talk about perpendicular. When two lines are perpendicular, we mean they are able to form a 90 degree angle there. So this line and this line, when they, whenever they meet, they are going to form a 90 degree angle. So this line has gradient M1, this line has gradient M2. Now, What's the relationship between gradient M1 and M2 is that M1 times M2 is equal to negative 1. I gave an example. Let's say, let's say line 1, which is here, has gradient 2. How can you find the gradient of this other line? So use this equation. Where there is M1, you put 2 for line 1. Then you divide by 2. It's going to give you this as your gradient.